The Lord be with you. Welcome to Daily Prayer from Faith Lutheran Church, Columbus, Indiana. The order of service is Daily Prayer for Individuals and Families from Lutheran Service Book, page 295. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first reading is from Psalm 86. There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. For great is your steadfast love toward me. You have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. Our second reading is from Matthew chapter 9. As Jesus passed on from there, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he rose and followed him. And as Jesus reclined at table in the house, behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and were reclining with Jesus and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard it, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. For I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. Our devotional reading for today is from Portals of Prayer for Friday, August 7th. It continues the uh, Beatitude themes. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy, Matthew 5, 7, the merciful. Jesus lived out the Beatitudes. He said the words, and then he demonstrated what they look like in everyday life. Today, Jesus shows what mercy looks like. To the Pharisees in the story, there were two kinds of people, the sinners and the righteous. They labeled Matthew and his friends sinners, themselves righteous, and their question to the disciples demanded that Jesus explain what camp he fell in. Jesus essentially told them, You're right about being two kinds of people, but you're wrong about who they are. Really, there are sinners who know they need a Savior, and there are sinners who think they can save themselves. Go and figure out which one you are. When we figure out the answer to that question for ourselves, it has to be that we are sinners in need of a savior. There's no saving ourselves. And we look at the people around us. We are not the righteous looking down our noses at sinners. We are sin sick people sharing the great cure with other sin sick people. Someone in your life needs to know your great physician. Mercy says, I am a sinner, but I have a savior. Would you like to meet him? Where would I be without you, Lord? Give me a fresh understanding of people's deep need for you, and then the courage to share you with them. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when a work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me also from sin and every evil. 
that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body, and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. And then go, go joyfully to your work this day. We'll be streaming again on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. from church. We will have in-person services at Faith Lutheran Church, 6000 West State Road 46 in Columbus, Indiana. The Lord bless your day.